Ellen McCauley at Pray It Up in Syracuse, New York. If you're new, even if you're an older member, you might say, I really don't know what to eat. I'm always kind of amazed by that. I'm a little amazed when people say, what? Are you telling me that a burrito is not as good as a salad? I'm shocked. I'm always a little surprised by that. So I'm including things here, like a heart healthy eating plan. Anyone should in this group should not eat one thing that they don't read the label. I read the label. I know. I, I had lunch with Judy one day, and she was showing me this dressing. I go, oh, I can't eat this. She goes, look at the label. There's no sodium. It's only 80 calories. I'm like, what? what? I couldn't believe what a nice dressing it was. You don't have a ton. It's just tasty, but you read the labels. Also, if it says high fructose corn syrup, if it's processed, we want to go towards natural. We want to go to fresh and frozen and no salt added. So I included a heart healthy eating plan. And I also have here um, a sample diet. And I always put these sample diets in. Well, they're, it's not a diet. It's a healthy eating plan. We can't use the words diet. I have people who call me up and go, Ellen, I can't come to diet group tonight. But I don't even use the word diet. I, I call it healthy eating because I want to show you the difference between 20, 1,200, 1,500, and 1,500 and 1,800 calorie diets. And there's all these um, examples here. You're not going to see donuts. You're not going to see hot dogs. You're not going to see pizza, lasagna, all the things that people love. And when you go up to the higher calorie diets, they go from three ounces of chicken to four ounces of chicken. And some people are eating eight, 10 ounces of meat. And the traditional American cuisine, I didn't do it. Like they had these in Chinese. I mean, you can look up anything online. I included only traditional American cuisine diets. If you want something different, you know, just let me know. But I have a difference between 1,200, 1,600. There's lunch, there's dinner. And everything is measured out here. Uh, three quarters of a medium potato. I do not see, it says one teaspoon of margarine. It doesn't say sour cream anywhere on that sheet, okay? And so there is where you will begin to start to lose weight. Also, choosing foods low in sodium. Any smoked cured meats like bacon, Ham, sausage, hot dogs, bologna, ham hocks. And if anyone's having liver pudding, you got to let me know. <laughs> because I want, I want to hear about that liver pudding. But the thing is, those foods are so high in sodium. We have to really watch that very, very, very carefully. And then check those labels. We cannot... We think we're, we're, we're trying hard and then we're like watching our calories, but we're having 4,000 milligrams of sodium and hanging on to so much fluid. I also have a, a nice sheet in here on using herbs and spices instead of salt. We've discovered so many good ones. And Judy and, and, and Anne gave me a couple that are just fabulous uh, of spices that have no sodium. Uh, the, you know, I mean, Mrs. Dash is, is renowned for it, but there's so many others that are so good. So take a look at all these different spices and herbs that you can use to taste things up. Because I'll tell you something, after 15 years, you do get, you, you do need a little something, something, you know? And when I discovered Frank's hot sauce, it was like, thank you, Jesus, because it just gives me that little zip and there's nothing in it. There's no calories, there's no sodium. Uh, if I could, I'd go like this. Go, go, go. Not really. I can, I, I can take so much, but I can't take the whole bottle. Maybe I can, but anyway. Also, moving more. You gotta start slow. You know, you gotta take whatever, I'm still doing, I'm still doing my steps, even though I can't ride my bike. I have an L1 compression fracture, and I'm at 12,214 steps today. Wow. Does it hurt a little bit? Yeah. Is it going to kill me? No. 
So you need to keep moving, no matter what. No, when you stop moving, that's what, so many people retire, they get in that lazy boy, they crank that sucker back, <laughs> and then the next thing you know, it's like, John Doe died unexpectedly, and I'm like, oh my God, he just retired, and he's sitting in the lazy boy. You don't have to do something for an hour. Do it for five minutes, do it for 10 minutes. Just try to work your way up. You just have to have your heart beating a teeny bit faster and find something you like. There's people in this group that didn't know each other, that go for a walk together, that go on the canal together. It's a really good thing to do. I'm going to stop right there, Bobby.